you guys. Briar Phil here. And as you can probably tell, my collection is like triple the last time you saw than the last time you saw it. So let's get into explaining that. Okay, so basically getting into explaining things. I found a Craigslist listing near the area where I live for about 33 briar horses. And get this only a hundred bucks for 33 briar horses. Do that math. I'll give you a second. Okay, once you've done that math, that's like three dollars per horse. So there was no way I was letting that deal go. So now I have like 40 horses in my collection instead of 11. So today we are going to be reviewing about 30 briar horses. Be prepared for a long video. Let's get right to it. Okay, so to start off this review, I am going to show you uh, some of the animals that aren't horses. And as you can see, I have this huge antler thingy, which is an elk if I actually spoke English. But he has a lot of shading on him. He only has a few marks, but I don't mind that. I'm not into showing horses. <laughs> I just like his little tail. He says a tiny tail. And, like, literally his horns keep catching on things, so be careful because, uh, a few of them can, like, chip. Zoom in, camera. <laughs> Zoom in, but a few of them can chip, like this one. That one's a little chipped, but to be honest, I don't really care on condition unless it's, like, so bad that I can't film with them. So, uh, the next thing that I'm going to be reviewing is this little deer. And, of course, she has a mama, so we have a deer and her baby mama. I'm pretty sure these are white-tailed deer, but tell me in the comment section if I'm wrong. And let's get on to the next animal. Okay, guys. Are you prepared for this thing? The beast! <laughs> this is my hand! against this this is humongous it's bigger than a traditional like he is huge he is like a huge buffalo and i really do like him like because he has very good shading he goes from this kind of yellow caramel color to this brown to this black and look at that cool tail and i really do like this mold for a buffalo because it actually represents them pretty realistically I kind of wish they had some sort of, like, shading in their eyes to make them look more like eyes so they didn't blend in with the fur. But look at these horns. They're not chipped. They're in very good condition. And he only has a few fades on his horns. And he has a little mark right here. But overall, he is in pretty good condition. I would consider him photo quality. But others may not. And let's get into the horses, which are next. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to be doing foals. Then we will get into a few of the classics I got. And then we're probably going to do what everybody wants to hear, the traditionals. So this is actually Stormy, I believe his name is. His or her. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but... Uh, this is Misty's foal. I didn't get Misty, but I did get her foal, and he is beautiful. I love paints, and I love Palomitos, because a Palomito was the first horse I ever rode on. So, he is, like, my dream horse. <laughs> and he is just adorable. He's traditional size foal, and I love him to bits. And... Let's get on to some of the other foals. So, let's get into the twin horses. So, we basically have two of the same foal right here. And both of them have chipped ears. This one has two chipped ears and this one has one chipped ear. And comparing them actually is quite fun. This one's marking is actually higher up than this one. They both don't have any shading in their eyes. They're both black, of course. And they both have, like, shading on their hooves. But this one is much lighter than this one. And it's actually quite cool to compare the same model. 
And actually, if you look close at this one, his leg was broken. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get the camera to zoom in on it. There we go. His leg is kind of cracked right here, but you can actually barely notice it because it was it was quick fixed quite well. I cannot speak English today. So yeah, I got these two uh, foals. And they kind of remind me of like Black Beauty, but they have four socks. And I'm really happy with them. They can be like twins or something. <laughs> Let's get on to the next foal. Okay, so this is the next foal. And he is adorable. He's classic sized, of course. And he is like a uh, paint and I love his shading like his pattern is so cool the base of his tail is black then it goes to white he has like a white and black mane and he's like painted and he has this like caramel chocolatey brown paint on the top but on the bottom he has like stockings he has the tan hooves and he has this like black section of his legs and he is a very cool foal. I wish I could have him in adult size because he would be like my favorite horse if he were an adult size. <laughs> so on to the next horse. Okay, so this next foal does actually have a mare to go with it. And this is the mare. There, It's like a pony and a foal. And they are adorable together. This is a traditional size pony. And I would say this is a classic size foal, but it's probably just a pony, so it's molded in classic. And they look very similar, actually. The only difference is, like, are their maids. He has a black forelock, and she has a white forelock. They have markings in, like, almost the same places. Like, they both have one here. They both have one here. And then on the other side, same thing. They both have their blanket and here. And they both have four white socks and normal colored hooves. And they both have the same fading. They're like mirror images of each other, except for this little dot right here on the foal. And these are so cute together. I love ponies. This pony just looks so cute. They're both, I would say, PSQ. Uh, the mare definitely doesn't have, like, any major flaws to her. The foal is kind of it has a few scratches on it but they're hard to show up on camera and then there's this weird way that the horse was painted if my camera would be nice to me yeah like it has this weird gray splotch right there but never mind that and galloping off into the next horse so now moving on to the traditional foals that I got. I got about eight foals, so you only have two more to bear through, guys, until we get to the actual horses. This foal is actually probably my favorite foal. I love uh, this, like, paint pattern. It's, like, a very, like, dark brown, but it's still shaded, and it's, like, mixed with splotches of white on it. And I love this foal. This foal is adorable. And I definitely like having this in my collection. So on to this next foal. So this next foal is about a caramel brown. And as you can see, this is like a very loved horse. It has a lot of markings on it. But I guess that just gives it personality in a way. And this has two white socks on the back, and it's just black on the front legs. And there are no stripes or anything on him. He doesn't have a snip or anything. So I think he's pretty cool. And on to the last foal. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this last foal is by far my favorite. This foal is like... Comparing it to the other foals, it is definitely a more grown-up foal. Like, almost a yearling, maybe. And he is adorable. He's, like, pure brown with black legs. He has a few markings on him, nothing much. And I love his cute little mane 
looking like it's blowing in the wind. And how can you not love this face? I mean, look at this face. Like, he is adorable. <sighs> okay, now that you have gotten over me squabbling about foals, let's get into the actual horses. <laughs> Okay, so now we are into some classic horses and a few ponies. So, first off, we have this caramel brown classic mare. I like her shading into the white, and she is very pretty. I don't know if I'm fond of the mold. She kind of looks skinny, but I'm pretty sure this is one of Briar's older molds, so pretty good for Briar's time. And let's get on to our next horse. Okay, so our next horse is this brown, dark brown, black kind of horse with white socks. And this horse is actually one of the more beat up horses, but I don't really mind that. It has a few scratches, maybe more than a few. I do like the contrast from the maid to the body coloring. And I think this model would be very cute, maybe one of my favorites, if it wasn't so damaged, but I don't really mind that, and I am happy to have another horse in my collection. So, the next horse is this horse, and I am kind of on the fence as to whether this is a foal or whether to this is a classic, because they are, like, the same size. I'm thinking maybe it's a foal, but either way, this is a very beautiful horse. It has a stripe down its face, and it has a beautiful caramel-colored coat, and there are, like, barely any flaws on this horse, and this is definitely one of my favorites, too. I'm pretty sure all of them are my favorites at this point, but <laughs> let's get to our next horse. Okay, so the next horse we are looking at is a black horse, and it seems to be cantering or galloping. And I actually quite like this mold, and there is very nice shading. If my camera would zoom in, there's, like, pinking on the muzzle where the white stripe is. And I kind of like how the stripe zigzags. And this face is a adorable and it's just pure black and this horse is probably psq or lsq i would think and this horse actually does not fit on my shelf because it is lo too long for my shelf by just a little bit one hoof falls off its shelf and it falls over so kind of bad but i could just keep her in my pasture until i get a big enough shelf to house all of my briars which is expanded rapidly in the last two days <laughs> so our next horse is actually a pony and this is just adorable i mean look at this adorable face like oh my god and she has like dappling i think it is supposed to be i'm not sure she has a few brown marks on her but i can probably wash her and get those off and she is just the most adorable pony ever. Like, I love ponies. They're so cute and dainty. And ugh, just so cute. And now, the part you've all been waiting for, let's move on to our traditionals. Okay, so our first traditional is this beauty. He has basically no flaws on him. And he is adorable. He has a star on his forehead. And this mane is really gorgeous. He's like pure brown. And he has a sock here and a sock back here. And his legs get like lighter as you go down the model. I just love his position. He's very like alert. And he actually is too long for my shelf yet again. <laughs> Curse shelves, but <laughs> he has to stay in my pasture, which is kind of an annoyance, but his beauty definitely makes up for it. Okay, 
So our next model is a Black Beauty model, I believe, because of the sock and the star. And yet again, he is too long. My shelf is not deep enough. Make a GoFundMe. I need money, people. I need money for a new shelf. But seriously, don't make me a GoFundMe, because that's... That's just such a first world problem. But anyways, back to horses. This horse is actually in pretty good condition. He has a few scratches. Whoa, he's on a TV now. <laughs> Let me switch back, okay? And he is just adorable. I love his little trotting pose as he's running along. And sorry about him being on the TV because Apparently, he loves being a star. Just a star. Anyways, on to the next horse. Okay, so this next horse is definitely, like, one of the favorites in my collection. He takes a stand. He actually has a stand. You can remove him from it. And he is just adorable. And he looks kind of black on screen, but he does have some brown shading right here and stuff. And look at that face. His face is the only thing that has a few markings. And I do actually like this little star kind of marking he has going on there. And he is adorable. He's jumping over like a fence, I believe. And his mane is just straying in the wind as he jumps. He can also <laughs> jump like this if you want him to, which is... Very convenient if you're looking to have a horse that can be a doofus for you. So, convenience there if you want to buy him. But, anyways, on to our next horse. Okay, so I don't actually know much about this next horse. She is a drafter, definitely. Some kind of draft horse. I can't exactly tell right now because my brain is dead. But she doesn't have, like, any other color except this black on her. Except for right here. She just has these signs on her. So if you can tell me anything about her in the comments. Or him, if I'm getting this wrong. But definitely a very beautiful horse. And definitely I would consider taking a lot of photo shoots with her and she is a very beautiful winter horse so expect photos of her coming soon okay so our next horse i do more know more about she is actually in very good condition she shows up a lot more chestnut on camera but in real life she's kind of a chocolatey caramel brown not this bright brown that you're seeing on camera, but she's on the Mirabella mold. She has four white socks, tan hooves, and she has a black tail, a black mane. She just has this little snip on her nose, no other markings, and she is very beautiful. The only flaws on her are these markings right here, and she has, if you can see it, a few markings on her ears and one above her eye. But otherwise, she is a very beautiful model. And I love her. She is definitely worth the $3. And she is just adorable. So, on to our next horse. Okay, so this next horse is definitely a drafter. She is extremely large. And look how big these hooves are. Like, this is my thumb. Her hoof is bigger than my thumb. She is crazy big. She's not actually very heavy. She has ribbons on her, tying up her tail in kind of a little bun. Her hair is braided and put in these ribbons. And her forelock even has a bow on it. And she's actually, I'm pretty sure, has almost no flaws. So probably photo quality. And she is just adorable. She has, she's like white on the bottom and then it just goes up and she's black and same thing on her muzzle and she is definitely a gorgeous drafter so this next horse is like definitely um pretty sure the favorite in my collection she's completely gray she has a slight dorsal stripe 
She actually has a harness like permanently on her. She has a stripe on her forelock and she has a white stripe kind of going along her belly, but otherwise she's purely gray and she has a sock here, 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 and then no sock on this hoof. And her tail is actually quite short. I'm not sure why her tail is so short. It's not chipped or anything. It's just the way the model was made. So interesting to hear that in your comment section down below. So make sure to tell me anything about some of the horses you see in these videos because I would be interested to learn about their history. So our next horse, of course, everybody can recognize it, is an old timer. And he actually came with his removable hat and I think that is just adorable that he has this hat that he can wear and his eyes you can just barely see them in there there he has eyes and he has his blinders on and he's hauling something he actually you can see right here he has his ribs on this mold his hips he's actually a very good mold for like an old horse and he's showing up a lot brighter on this camera again but he's kind of a darker, more dull, more like subtle um, brownish color in real life. But either way, he is definitely a good horse. And his mane is like a darkish, kind of light brown. And his tail is just kind of floppy. He's just kind of, he kind of wants a nap. So he's going to go take one now. Or right on the floor. Whatever you want to do, bud. So this next horse is like definitely my favorite out of all the horses that I got today. She is adorable. She is a dark Palomino. She's showing up like a brown on the screen, but she's like a Palomino with a lot darker coloring, almost brown, but she's still a Palomino. And I actually do have the box. She is a Palomino Halfinger, and she has a light yellow mane. There's no special coloring on her hooves or anything, no markings. She's just pure this color. And I actually do have the box over here. She actually did come in this box. It's actually one of the very older boxes, and this is actually very cool. It still has the box, and this horse is like completely LSQ, like there's no damage to her. The only thing is her mane is painted weird right here. This shouldn't be uh, painted as coat color, but otherwise she is like perfect condition, and she is just a lovely horse. And she is just adorable because she's smaller than the other traditionals and she's a halfinger and I just love her to pieces. She's just so cute. How can you not love this beautiful face? So funny story about this next horse. I actually almost owned him. I w he was in the same store as my horse Diablo who actually plays himself Diablo and he's like Razor's sidekick in one of my series but anyways back to the horse he is brown and he's actually very tall he's probably from the 1970s 80s not sure he has the harness on him permanently which would kind of suck but he has his diamond no special markings on him and again the camera, it's showing up kind of bright. He's more of a dark brown, not this light in real life. But he is definitely a beautiful horse to behold. So, on to our next horse. So, this next horse, I believe, is actually a Fajord, but I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But he is very cool. He's showing up very yellow on camera. He's actually like a Palomino-y color. He has like black in his mane. He actually has a stripe of black in the tip of his mane that goes down into a dorsal stripe and down into his tail. And he has very interesting markings all on his legs. He has feathering on his legs too. He has some marks on him, but he is definitely not the worst horse I have. 
and he is actually very cute. I like this mold. I kind of wish the legs were a little longer, so he didn't look so chubby, but <laughs> a chubby horse is a cute horse, I guess. <laughs> On to the next horse. So I believe this next horse is actually Big Ben. Tell me in the comment section if I am wrong. But he is adorable. I love this mold. His stockings right here are showing up a little brighter, but otherwise his coloring is actually pretty accurate in this camera. And he just, I love this mold. He's kind of swishing around. And I don't think he would be a uh, show quality, but he's definitely photo quality, definitely good condition for um, his time and his age. And he even has the little chestnuts right there. And he is adorable. He has a stripe going down his face right there. And on to our last horse. And we are finally going to get to the end of this review. I don't know if you're sad about it. I don't know if you're happy about it. But on to the last horse. Okay, so this last horse I am kind of iffy about. I think that his legs and his chubby little posture are cute as a drafter. And he actually only stands up on one foot in my shelf, but he still stands. Like, his hooves are that big. Like, his hooves are, like, the size of a quarter. Like, literally a quarter could fit on his hooves. And I like his mane and everything, but I just feel like his head is a little displaced on this mold. Like, I feel like his neck is either too long for his body or the head is just not placed right. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I don't know. And I really wish that he had shading on his eyes because he just looks weird without the shading on his eyes. But I don't really mind. A briar horse is a briar horse after all. He has a few markings. I can probably wash some of those off. And he's actually pretty cool on this side. He has some kind of white going on here, fading into him. And he overall has cool shading and everything. So that pretty much concludes our Briar review. And expect more videos in the future about my collection. And Briarfield signing off for now. Bye, guys.